Hello everybody, we have seven piles today. Starting from the top left corner, we're gonna have pile one, and the top right corner is gonna be pile four, and then on the second row, bottom left corner is gonna be pile five, and two spaces to the right will have pile seven. For anyone who's feeling indecisive, I do have a auto number generator link in my description box. Otherwise, you can take some time right now to pick with your intuition, and timestamps will be down below. Hello, Pile 1, welcome to your reading. So for your tarot here, we have the High Priestess, the Five of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Now, I'll just be honest, I have two situations going on here. For those of you who have a crush on this person, I feel like they just have other things going on in their life. If you're wondering, is my crush into me? I'm not seeing they're particularly interested, okay? Again, I like to be honest on this channel. A lot of tarot readers just will say whatever, and I just don't agree with that. I'll always try to speak on what I see. Those of you who have history with this person, and even those of you who are just like, what's going on with this person? They're very much focused on themselves, on creating their empire, on creating abundance. Um, those of you who have history, there's a lot of mirroring in this connection. I feel like no one was really willing to step down or maybe you were willing in the past to give more or be more there's more of a willingness to be open but there was a lot of mirroring and a lot of wounds that were brought up and i feel like you were meant to um there was meant to be introspection this person could have come into your life for you to really evaluate your wounds that you might have not even known how deep they were or um allowed you to see how you function in relationships whether they were healthy or not and i feel like spirit is saying you guys are more ready than you believe to make the change your intuition has been telling you this with the high priestess you've been watching this person very carefully observing them i feel to see what's going on uh, what their intentions are and things of that sort and then here we have the full moon in Pisces, which to me speaks about delusion, which speaks about when well, we need to ground ourselves. Are we over romanticizing things? Um, are we hoping for things that we know might not be true just to ease the pain? That type of energy. Um, and I sympathize. I have a lot of water in my chart, so I get it. It can be almost a band-aid, but it, it's not going to fix it's not gonna help you go deeper don't let pride get in the way full moon in leo i feel like your person has a lot of pride a lot of ego they're not willing to step down they're not willing to give you something that isn't petty and childish you know something more devotional maybe i feel like those of you who have history with this person there um there may be something still there because you two shared something but i feel both of you i feel like your person has been um moving on or the view that you're moving on and they may feel similarly but i do feel like for a lot of you this person has been focused on moving on or getting a closure of this and they wear all these different type of masks and it's like it almost feels like you're playing a game to figure out what's underneath your mask and spirit is saying you don't have to put yourself through that sword make the change so we had change our endings are inevitable and um make the change i think i showed this card already right a labyrinth i do feel like this person has kept you in a state of overthinking i feel there's trust issues here um and the thing is, in your life, there's going to be powerful change. Expect this year for things to shift because something in your life is really picking up. The energy is gaining momentum. Expect powerful change. I see you really coming into your own, starting new beginnings. This can be a new job, um, a new mindset and love, finally getting closure and stuff like that. But I feel like you're more ready for something new than you may feel. You may just not want to leave your comfort zone more than anything because it's predictable and spirit is saying it's okay to wait for something better wait it's not time yet things are being woven so don't rush anything in love right now let 
things really come together how they're meant to be and you will know it in your gut you won't have to question it so much basically surrender to the sweetness pleasure joy make love to life so i see you guys stepping into a more pleasurable time of self-care self-development indulging um finding the beauty in life instead of like giving away your energy you're pouring it back into yourself what else do we have dream the world into being trust in the magic again there's something special about what's happening with you next it feels as if there is going to be almost magical like opportunities um there's more magic around you you're attracting more abundance i feel you're coming into seeing i feel the magic within yourself and dream the world into being is basically saying um dream bigger dream the life you want into fruition it's happening and trust trust in that process basically so um i'm seeing strong taurus we have strong virgo aquarius um gemini earth sign water sign especially pisces and also leo this can be strong leo this can be in your chart chart of anyone you're dealing with your person thank you guys so much for watching anyone who wants to book a more in-depth eight dollar reading information is down below testimonials posted on my instagram otherwise thank you guys so much and take care hello pal to welcome to your reading so what i'm picking up right away is a really useful energy from your person we have the page of cups and we also have the page of wands and i do feel that you guys have been wanting something more you've been wanting something deeper we have tower and judgment we also had the page of wands come up besides judgment which to me really represents that idea of this person is either in a place of embracing their youth um or they they feel they may not be able to offer you exactly what you want and need the all this page energy represents it can be that they're an immature person but just what they're um they're not able to offer you something more mature basically in regards to their feelings for you we have healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier so they've been really focused on trying to uplift their energy and spirits during <laughs> during a pandemic during a darker time they've been focusing on just loving themselves i feel like um there's a bit of a restrictive energy in this connection now some of you do have potential we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens because this page energy does represent an interest um i'm not getting the strongest in terms of feelings again i feel for some of you there could be potential here if you can i don't think you should try and force this person to break down their walls or force them to like you know fall for you because this is about just loving life they're in this very almost free-spirited energy we had american teen as your channeled song and that song it's funny the, the word teen came up because again we have that youthfulness coming up but the idea of that song is just like living young and wild and free basically so that's where that's kind of the mind space they're at right now they're trying to like make their life more beautiful and more fun venus in the sixth they would just want to do ple uh, more pleasurable fun things they want they may want to pursue a career that can serve them that they feel drawn to um they are drawn to beauty and aesthetics or pleasure um entertainment even in some form for some of you i feel you're not for everyone embrace your weirdness face your true north so spirit is basically saying um it's okay that you have something to offer or want something more at the end of the day if we were for everyone if every single person we wanted we could be with we might actually miss out on the best thing for us I do feel like this is someone some of you may be in like a flirtationship or something and they do and they do have fun they have fun with you and um there may even be like a spark there because with the sun coming up there is joyfulness playfulness a light 
but i'm not getting a particularly strong love reading here um remember to practice self-love potion i think i'm going to pull one more card for you guys okay Oh yeah, we have, you have more options than you realize. I feel like this person is keeping their options open, but Spirit is also saying like, you guys have more options. You don't have to worry about setting your mind to one thing. Life is a mystery. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like this connection, again, because there's so many of you watching, it's one of those connections where I feel like there may be potential, but it's a mystery and nothing is really quite set in stone. And Spirit is saying just embrace that. Embrace that anything can happen and just live kind of more in the moment and live more for yourself. So I'm seeing fire sign and water sign here. Um, sixth house Virgo, strong Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, uh, strong Sagittarius, and strong Libra. Again, this can be in your chart, your person's chart. Thank you guys for watching. For anyone who wants to book a more in-depth $8 reading, info's down below, testimonials on my Instagram. Otherwise, thank you so much and take care. Hello, pal three, welcome to your reading. So, I feel your person has very strong feelings for you. We have the devil. It's honestly very obsessive feelings. They feel, especially coming up right, uh, coming up besides the empress, they see your worth okay they most definitely see everything you bring to the table um they think about you a lot and you you can't really be compared to anyone else is what i'm getting um they still have love for you if you've been questioning if they do i definitely feel they do with the empress it's like they romanticize you but also you probably have a lot going on for you um or you're the type of partner they just want it the way you are just resonates clicks with the type of person they want to be with um and then we have the hanged man here which indicates they're being very passive either passive aggressive or just not taking action here i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're intimidated by your energy they may feel like you've gone cold on them they may feel like if they say the wrong thing you'll snap with the queen of swords you're not taking any bs <laughs> with the page of cups i feel like they just have this crush and they're watching you from afar the page of cups is not someone who's you know taking action it's more um it's more an idea so they have this romantic idea of how they would want things to be but they're they're not taking action i think a lot of that has to do with the fact they're not ready not the right time they may feel it's not the right time they're also very focused on their abundance very much focused on themselves we have the north node and the south node in the first house so they've been uh, focusing a lot on their personal identity because they see you evolving they see um, how abundant you are how anyone would really be lucky to have you we have bitch fire stand up for yourself so i feel a lot of you guys stood up for yourself or you just started to radiate this energy of i'm not gonna take this deceptive energy or i'm not gonna take how you're treating me any longer we have the snake so i feel like your person could have been deceptive in the past um there was snaky energy there could have been third parties involved here your commitment is being tested what do you need to release yeah they're they're struggling to come forward towards you they're having a very difficult time but they're having a very difficult time missing you as well there's also a really strong level um of attraction here like it's very very obsessive when i see the devil besides the empress it's kind of it's you know when you fall for someone and you just stop you stop being logical it's kind of like that they can't help how they feel pucker up buttercup so again there's a longing for your affection for your attention here um if they once loved you they still do bring a gentle touch dear spirit i feel like once before you could have been very soft very gentle and you have this very loving spirit um they find you extremely beautiful especially your eyes is what i'm getting and 
I feel they want you to bring that gentle touch once again they want you to be like the dear spirit very loving you know Bambi um, innocent but I feel you've learned from your past spirit is saying let your friends help you i think a lot of you guys have given into letting the people who you can count on actually help you or you've been more open to connecting with friends and family and others of you just need to hear that allow yourself to be helped during this time your person does wish for this like they wish for things to come um, into fruition between you two in the meantime i think they're just focusing on themselves focusing on manifesting a more abundant life and they just don't feel ready to come forward quite yet. So I'm seeing air sign and water sign. Um, we have first house Aries placements, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, strong Capricorn. And we also have Sagittarius. This can be in your chart, chart of anyone you're dealing with. Thank you guys so much for watching. For anyone who wants to book a more in-depth $8 reading, info is down below. Otherwise, thank you so much and take care. Hello, Pile 4, welcome to your reading. So, your cards are similar to the last pile. We have the Devil, the Hanged Man, and the Queen of Swords, and I'll talk about the others in just a second. What I am picking up is this person feels a very strong connection to you, a very deep connection. We have soulmates, so they have soulmate-like feelings towards you. If they believe in soulmates, that's how they view you as their soulmate and they are very very passive though with the hanged men i see them not providing here for you you know not fully being here fully being there for you um they want to take action a part of them does with the knight of cups they feel <laughs> sometimes they really like to play this role of the knight knight in shining armor and they want to race towards you and sweep you off your feet and have just have like tender romantic moments with you but then on the other hand with the four of swords i'm getting they can be unwilling to give you know the four of swords to me represents healing needing time to rejuvenate recuperate so i feel as if your person is very just hot and cold with uranus they have these very strong feelings for you and they've been thinking about contacting you if you guys are in no contact or they've been thinking about you know um sweeping you off your feet with cupid's arrow it does say hesitation so cupid's arrow to me is always like i want to do i want to provide a romantic surprise for this person or i want to hit this person up but there can be that aspect of hesitating we also have Uranus in the fifth house, so Uranus is a very chaotic energy. We could just we could describe your person as chaotic or maybe unreliable, but <laughs> they do like you. They do really like you, and they feel really really excited by you. You stir those romantic feelings in them. Um, they kind of like the thrill of the surprise. They feel right now you might have gone cold on them, to be honest, with the Queen of Swords. Um, I feel like they're struggling. I do get this energy of them perhaps going through a difficult time, like it is affecting them, whatever went wrong in your connection. And they feel, they think to themselves, oh, you've gone cold on me, you're not sweet, you're not providing, whatever the case is. But I think deep down they know they're playing themselves because you guys are extremely giving, new moon and Virgo. You do provide a lot. Um, but this person has a lot of ego. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. A lot of pride, a lot of ego. They can be selfish. Um, I don't think this person is used to giving. Maybe they're not used to um, upholding certain responsibilities or being a provider or emotionally providing, you know, just being emotionally giving. There can be a lot of ego here. We have B spirit, sweet results await. This is very interesting. It feels as if, I think they think to themselves, you're going to do well in your life. And they are attracted to that. They're attracted to the fact that they see you going places. They see you as very unique. Very, very unique. Um, it's kind of like wanting that 
like being attracted to honey you know it's it's sweet it's um <laughs> i don't know it's sweet i guess how else do you describe honey like it's it's being attracted it's like a treat it's a sweet treat and so they're like a bee to a beehive and they're very very drawn to you and they think you're very unique and different i see that with aquarius i see that with enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness they feel you're very different from other people and um you know love is in the eye of the beholder and you've sparked something in them something they really connect to something they feel they want in a person and that other people don't have but with this no card i almost feel like spirit is saying like n no just be cautious like no you know it's not no feels like the energy of them still being withdrawn still pr acting off of ego or something and spirit is saying gold you don't need someone else to fix you so we have gold we have honey we have all this light and vibrancy coming from you and spirit is just like just acknowledge and appreciate that by yourself and sometimes it can be annoying because you're like i know i have all this going on for me why isn't this person appreciating it and you're not going to attract the right love until you really feel whole within yourself and don't have this uh, level of expectation allowing things to happen naturally they're powerfully drawn to you new moon and eclipse energy is gaining momentum um but they're also very there can be toxic tendencies and spirit saying you've got time you've got time and i am hearing for yourself it's time to take back control of your life forgiveness you may be holding a lot of resentment and it's like about freeing yourself of that pain so you can live live your best life basically um and luck is in your side luck is on your side so this is a time um where you can really expand in your life where you can shoot towards things to grow feel more confident and free within yourself so i'm seeing gemini virgo aquarius uranus fifth house leo water sign capricorn air sign um strong leo placements pisces uh sagittarius this can be in your chart chart of anyone you're dealing with thank you guys for watching anyone who wants to book more in-depth eight dollar reading information is down below testimonials are posted on my instagram otherwise again thank you so much and take care hello pile five welcome to your reading so for your tarot we have the king of swords here the ace of cups and the five of wands actually it was the five of wands then the ace of cups i just mixed up my cards here now your person wants a new beginning with you they have a lot of strong emotions towards you um if you're in separation they want reunion here their cup of emotions is overflowing there's very strong venusian energy going on here we have pleasure so they feel when they're with you life is more private oh my god i can't talk <laughs> life is more pleasurable um life is more just sweet and tender and enjoyable but here they are this very like analytical person who likes to compartmentalize things who likes to you know organize things but it's difficult for them because they can't organize these emotions and these emotions are strong um but your person is taking their time healing through rest they may be very slow in expressing their affection or if you're in no contact they're just taking their time they're not really in a rush they feel kind of rushed they feel almost a little bit anxious is what i'm getting with the five of wands they do feel there's tension between you two and conflict but they feel it could be healed they want to give this relationship a chance um someone here has really been working on their goals i feel some of you guys have been working on your dreams and making your dreams come true or that's a message you need to hear and your person's been admiring you or vice versa this person's been very focused on their career um what i'm getting for some of you is like they've kind of become comfortable in their own life like they're not being challenged and they feel like they have the time now to focus on romance more <laughs> romance um <laughs> and yeah i um i'm also getting for some of you this is you like they're watching you build your empire and they're just admiring you they're totally in awe of you and we have magic works through you and the miracles are endless 
I'm getting really strong empress energy. I feel like you're an independent boss, but you're also like really feminine. Also, um, or if you're masculine, very masculine. Like they feel as if you have it all full package type energy. I pulled some clarifiers and we had the world, the five of cups and the five of pentacles. Your person is like pretty, pretty hurt right now. They're going through it. They feel super lonely without you. They just want a closure and completion of a uh, cycle here. They actually really want to be held by you, but I feel like they're not good at expressing this. Um, I feel like they really want your affection. They feel alone. They feel kind of alone and strength. They've been trying really hard to stay strong and like hold back, but it is becoming difficult for them. I think they also view you as very, very strong. There's a lot of strength um, and just... I, I see the feminine here just, you know, adorned in flowers, blooming, flourishing, glowing, all of that stuff. This person doesn't like stepping out of their comfort zone, south node in 10th house and 7th house. They can kind of get stuck in their ways. You may feel that you are like, maybe in the past you gave and gave and it was like, they were an endless portal that took and you were like, like, this is difficult for me. Or you view that, uh, view your person that way. Um, so yes, I think some of you are going to be ke uh, getting contact soon in the near future or there will be a shift in this connection. Um, your person feels very drawn to you here. So I'm seeing Aquarius, Taurus, 2nd house, 10th house Capricorn, 7th house Libra, air sign placements, fixed sign in general. Uh, this can be in your chart. Leo, I don't know if I said that, or your person's chart. If anyone wants to book a more in-depth $8 reading, my information's down below. Testimonials are on my Instagram. Otherwise, thank you guys so much and take care. Hello, Pile 6. Welcome to your reading. So, with the Six of Swords here, I see your person is moving to calmer waters. Like, they may have been very distant lately, um... But your person's still holding on to you. They've been very, very cold, hard to reach, but there's a part of them that's very protective over themselves, is very um, stubborn as well. But the Four of Pentacles to me here is indicating they're still holding on to you because we have Venus and Taurus. So Venus is everything to do with love and pleasure, attraction, and Taurus is ruled by Venus. So I feel they view you as really, really attractive, very divine. There's something very divine about you. Um, like, if you're feminine, they view you as very feminine or very, very abundant in some type of way. And I'm almost getting like with fulfillment here that maybe once you, once upon a time you were their wish fulfillment and for a part of them that still rings true, they still see your worth they still uh, see your beauty, but your person's very cold-hearted. For some of you, either they've done something, this connection has been very karmic, for sure. We have karmic relationship. Fleeting, it says fleeting, so this to me feels like one second they're there and one second they're gone. Um, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Yeah, I see your person is physically letting go, but emotionally a part of them still holds on to this. You were born with that equality. I'm almost getting they're kind of just admiring you from afar. Again, they see that you have that equality. It's like when you like someone and you can't really explain what it is about them, you're just like, I don't know, it's just something about them. It's that type of thing. And your person here with the fool, um, there's literally a baby on this photo, so it's this idea of someone who's childish, someone who's very focused on being free-spirited right now. This person's really focused on bringing balance and harmony from themselves, within themselves, or something of that sort. We have honeymoon. So, you know, the Six of Swords does represent, usually, someone on a boat moving away. So again, I feel like that's almost like representing moving away to calmer waters. And I feel, I kind of want to pull some clarifiers for this deck because it's very, 
it's a lot of mixed energy i feel like you guys are probably confused they're on guard they don't they're not ready at all to let you in whatsoever um yeah, let's see. I feel like you guys are having a very difficult time forgiving this person. Some of you, this person doesn't want to forgive you, but I think that's not everyone. Knight of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, they're just focused on their work. And I feel like they can't... Wow, the Empress. Yeah, like I said, they view you as like extremely, extremely divine, like you know, the queen of all queens, um, Venus and Taurus, the empress is ruled by Taurus, so it's like, you are, I don't know why, why this person, I don't know what happened between you two, it can honestly just be the fact they're not willing to commit the fool, they, they want to just jump off, um, whatever cliff they want without, without, um, worrying about repercussions, basically, step out of your comfort zone yeah this person's not ready to make a move they're holding on to you they're really focused on trying to have fun in some type of way they just we literally have the card yeehaw which reminds me of the fool like yeehaw i'm gonna jump off this cliff i'm just i don't want a lot of baggage nothing is yet set in stone in reverse so this person just likes to go with the flow and when they feel like being emotionally closed off, they simply will. They feel or they they think this situation is not going to go anywhere with the void. They feel that maybe it won't go anywhere in the long term. Or it's, it's just maybe they don't stand a chance with you. Or they don't see it going somewhere. They feel like it's hard, hard to make this work difficult for them. So... I see strong Taurus here, I also see Libra, 3rd house Gemini, strong Taurus, Libra, um, we also have 8th house Scorpio, and a mutable moon, so Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, I've had such a long day, Sagittarius, Sagittarius moon, this can be in your chart or your person's chart. Thank you guys for watching. For anyone who wants to book a more in-depth $8 reading, information is down below. Testimonials on my Instagram. Otherwise, thank you guys so much and take care. Hello, Pile 7. Now, this is an intense one. We have the Ten of Swords, the Emperor, and the Page of Cups here. So, a lot of you had some major ending here. And it's it's been intense and difficult um and it's you know a huge process of healing and really being honest to yourself about this connection like we can see she's covering her mouth here it almost feels like everything you've held back everything you suppressed and it's kind of bubbling to the surface now i do see your person has feelings here for you with the page of cups there is a certain level of immaturity in this connection it was deeply profound and transformative and a you know, I sense a very psychic bond here, but what I'm getting with the golden mirror, it says self-absorbed, um, one-sided relationship, love bombing, that this connection was not equal, and this person, um, would, you know, throw themselves at you sometimes, or give you affection sometimes, and then hold back, you know, which is a narcissistic quality, not saying they are a narcissist, um, or die, they would have to be like diagnosed as one, but it's that idea of, you know, energy vampire is what I'm hearing. Um, and they've been running away from this connection. There's been a lot of fear and ego issues for you guys that you've been working through. Um, and it's, you know, usually we're like, that person has such a big ego, but fear can also stem into our ego and we want to learn how to balance these things I'm not a professional at this it's i know it's easy to preach these cards and it's harder to apply them um but it it feels like you guys are regaining balance here we have time for a love fest which is which is just funny because it's like things have like ended or been kind of catastrophic um but this person is highly attracted to you still 
with the page of cups besides the emperor i feel like you are this person's muse they're very very focused on their career here on uh, building their empire especially with inspiration it was it's funny because the word muse came in my head and then we had inspiration come and i'm like i definitely feel like this person is creatively fed by you um listens to music and thinks about you those sort of things this person has made you feel you are not good enough but i'm almost getting maybe they act like they have a big ego but people who treat you in a way that's you know um you feel pushed down or you feel frustrated and you feel it's very unbalanced usually those type of people who feel they need to take and act that way deep down deep down they don't feel they're worthy because if you're you know truly worthy and loving yourself from a balanced state i think there's some deep-rooted possibly narcissism but like insecurity whatever the case is with your person they're throwing themselves into their career completely we even had b spirit busy b um i feel trust has been broken in this connection and this person's not ready to face that they're afraid of being intimate you know breaking down those walls and really getting real with you but with intuition once again i feel like this is a very intuitive connection here um am i seeing anything else they're not ready to take that plunge with you rainbow bridge they're not ready to take that step forward um so that's what i'm seeing for their current feelings you can be dealing with i'm getting strong water sign especially cancer but any of them um also aries sixth house virgo strong virgo and we is that it we also have mutable moon so this can be uh gemini pisces virgo sagittarius moon this can be in your chart or your person's chart thank you guys for watching anyone who wants to book a more in-depth eight dollar reading my information is down below testimonials on instagram otherwise thank you so much and take care